While the Soviet Union was working on sending their cosmonauts into space, they face an extreme challenge. How were these cosmonauts going to deal with the extreme fluctuation in radiation, gravity, loneliness, isolation, and overall life or death situations? They would need to develop some form of a limitless like pill in order for the cosmonauts to be able to survive in this kind of environment. And that is exactly what the Soviet Union did when they created female paracetam. Now, you're probably wondering, can we use this substance to increase our cognition and overall increase our performance? And so today we're going to break down how we can use phenylparacetam safely and effectively. Now, before you ever use something new, you really should check in with your healthcare provider. Also, for full transparency, I've been using phenylparacetam for years, and I am an affiliate with Cosmic Nootropic, where you can purchase some phenylparacetam. I actually did my last purchase using Dogecoin. How cool. Welcome to 2025. They also have no pet, regular paracetam, and plenty of other nootropics that you should go ahead and check out. You can use code DRMOE for a discount. Now, let's dive in. So phenylparacetam originally was developed in 1983 in the Soviet Union. It was derived from another nootropic called pyracetam. Adding the phenyl group made it more fat soluble. This makes it easier to cross the blood-brain barrier, makes it 20 to 60 times more potent than its parent compound, paracetam. And so it was first prescribed in the Soviet Union for conditions like depression and neurocognitive decline. In the U.S., it's unregulated as a dietary supplement. So what are the benefits of phenylparacetam? One of the first things people notice is an increase in their focus in their mood, and overall mental clarity. Most people report an increased ability to recall information and to also speak more clearly. Most people also report an improvement in their mood, especially those who are stressed and in isolation, similar to the cosmonauts. Many people also report an increase in their stamina, increasing their performance enhancement in athletics. A couple mechanism of action it seems like phenylparacetam works as a dopamine reuptake inhibitor, giving us more dopamine. This is the neuro transmitter that gives us energy and makes effort feel good. Probably one of the main drivers between increasing the mood and the motivation. Then alpracetam also increases cerebral blood flow, aka getting more blood to the brain. More blood to the brain, more oxygen, more energy, more nutrients to give our brain energy to do the tasks that it needs to do. This can enhance neuroplasticity for better learning and memory recall. Phenylparacetam seems to increase neuromembrane fluidity, allowing your neurons to talk to each other more efficiently. It acts on the nicotinic receptors and possibly the NMDA receptors, which are used in memory and focus. It also seems to boost alpha waves, which is really about being relaxed, and also boosts beta waves, which are really about being focused. The half-life is about three to five hours, so most report that the effects are very fast acting, but also short-lived. This is similar to about the half-life of caffeine. Now let's chat about typical dosing guidelines. Again, you should be chatting with your healthcare practitioner as something like phenylparacetam is very powerful and could interact with other nootropic, psychiatric meds, or anything else working on your endocrine system. However, most often people start somewhere between 50 to 100 milligrams daily. It does seem like we build up a very quick tolerance where often to get a similar effect, people are moving up to 200 all the way up to 600 milligram doses. So what I end up doing is rotating phenylparacetam with something like dihexa or NNMM, methylene blue, caffeine, and other things that boost acetylcholine like choline CDP or alpha GPC. By rotating these nootropics around, people keep their sensitivity to the nootropics. And what's also interested, I talked about increasing acetylcholine through alpha GPC, choline CDP, phosphatylcholine. It is often recommended if you're using using phenylparacetam to use something to boost your acetylcholine levels as it does seem to maybe even deplete a little bit of acetylcholine by using it. And that's often while using something like phenylparacetam, I start on a low dose and I slowly increase. Side effect wise are actually pretty minimal. As you can imagine, if we're boosting your brain power, maybe we boost it too much and it can give someone a headache, possibly become a little irritable, and even some insomnia if you're taking it too close to bedtime. There currently aren't a ton of contrast indications. Me personally, as I mentioned earlier, I wouldn't be mixing this with too many other high powerful stimulants. Again, always chat with a healthcare practitioner. Legally right now in Russia, phenylparacetam is available via prescription. It's not regulated currently in the US and in Australia and UK it depends, but most often it's prohibited.
Also an important note, if you are an athlete and you are competing in a WADA-tested event, it is on the banned list. Hence, a lot of the substances on that list work for performance enhancing. Now, there are some research limitations as well. Most of the studies done are very small and therefore specific conditions or animal studies. So again, something to consider if you're going to take the substance. A lot of research comes from Reddit or anecdotal reports from people like me chatting with patients who have used it. We still need some large-scale human trials. It is considered not addictive with a very low abuse potential, but the exact dosage for toxicity is yet to be determined. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is phenylparacetam, one of the strongest nootropics known to men and helped get us into space. Now, if you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you leave it a like. If you've used phenylparacetam, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section below. Or if you've used another nootropic that you think is worth mentioning, let us know. And like I said, if you're interested in trying out, talk to a healthcare practitioner before. I do have an affiliate link in the description below. Now, if you've made it this far, I do think that you would like this video. So I hope you found this information useful. Until next time, stay vigilant, my friends, and God bless.